This was my number one favorite eyeshadow palette of last year, and even now it still continues to take my breath away. This is the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Nearly Natural Eyeshadow Palette, and inside of it we have seven mattes and eight of the most beautiful shimmers I've ever seen in my entire life. I would describe this palette as an elevated and glam take on neutrals. I used this palette on my wedding day and my eyelids were sparkling for the whole night. So I'm gonna be interested to see if this palette continues to be my number one for this year as well. But we're gonna go ahead and create a beautiful sparkly eye look. I hope to earn your subscription today. If you do enjoy this video, then please subscribe. To start off with, we're gonna go in the shade with Barely There. I'm gonna buff this into the crease. I cannot tell you how much I love this formula. Everything, the mattes are fantastic. They just, they blend so well. Like, look at this. It's amazing. And the shimmers, don't even get me started on the shimmers. I can't get enough of this palette, honestly. So we're gonna buff this all the way into the crease in windshield wiper motions from the very inner corner all the way to the outer corner and slightly up and out. This is gonna act as our transition shade and hopefully make every other shadow blend really seamlessly. Look how quick that was to blend out. Normally I'd be in there for like five minutes, but this is just so quick and easy to blend. I also have absolutely like nothing on my eyelids, just whatever foundation I have on, not even any concealer. And you can just see how pigmented and easily blendable this is even with my dry eyelids. I have very dry eyelids and this is working fantastic. Fantastically, fantastically. Now we're gonna go in with the shade Untouched. It's this beautiful mauve shade. And I'm gonna begin packing that on the very outer corner. And also we're gonna pop it on the inner corner. So today we're gonna to be making a halo eye. I love halo eyes. They're so easy to do and they're honestly so effective as well. Please tell me in the comments below what your favorite palette was last year and if it's still your favorite. I would be so interested to know what your number one was and if it's still on top of the list. And now we're going to go back in with Barely There and just blend those two shades together in the crease. Just so there's no harsh lines and they all mesh beautifully. I really wish Glaminatrix Cosmetics would come out with more natural, neutral palettes. I would buy every single one. Okay, this is coming together so quickly and easily. Going in with the shade Naturally, I'm just going to tap that on the outer corner just to create some dimension. Just with the smallest amount. And it's so pigmented, oh my god. <laughs> that was probably too much. Okay, now it's time for my favorite bit, the shimmers. I don't know which shimmer to go in with, they're all so beautiful, I don't even know where to begin. I love them all. I wanna use one that I haven't used yet. Every time I look at it, it gets me. Yeah, let's try something I haven't tried yet. So going in with the shade Raw, this I have never used, so I'm excited to see how it works. She is pigmented. We're gonna put this right on that middle of the eye. And we're going to diffuse the edges ever so slightly. Next up, we're grabbing this beautiful shade called Unveiled. I think I used this as part of my wedding day makeup. And we're going to tap it on the very center of the lid. Look at that. It's amazing. For the bottom lash line now, we're gonna go back in with Unveiled, and we're gonna buff this all underneath that bottom lash line, all the way across, making it nice and smoky. 
to help everything blend even better, we're gonna go in with belly there and tap that on the bottom lash line as well, just on the lower bit. So it sort of matches the top of our lid. Can you guys see the difference there? And for a little bit of fun, we're gonna grab Unveiled. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> we're gonna put this on the bottom lash line as well, just on the center. Press that in. And now for my favorite part, the inner corner, we're gonna grab Naked Eye. I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner and it's just gonna make all my dreams come true. Look at that. Isn't that just perfect? Should I do a wing? <laughs> I ask myself this every time. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and line the top lash line. Only from about halfway. And out. And I'm gonna try and do a baby wing. Let's see. This is stressful. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think it's fine. I think we did it. We did good. Just a very small wing. Now taking a white cream gel liner, I'm gonna line my bottom waterline. This will help make our eyes look bigger. Once I apply my mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and I will be right back. What do you guys think of how this look turned out? I obviously love it. I love every single look I create with this palette. Let me zoom you in so you can see close up. Also, I am testing a new foundation today. I will have that linked down below. It is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I'm doing a full day wear test. Honestly, I'm not loving how it's looking so far. Uh, so make sure to check that video out if you're interested. I'll have it linked down below if it's up already. If not, keep an eye out. But here we have the eye look. I just, it's, I think it's great. Anything with sparkles? I'm a happy girl. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching today's video. If you want to keep watching more eyeshadow looks, I'll have another video linked here. Or here somewhere I'll have it linked here somewhere for you <laughs> and check that one out as well I really hope to see you guys over there I love you have a wonderful day I'll see you in my next video bye